y'all been doing? Where y'all been? <laughs> I look at the, this is the longest time I've gone since I started going live without going live. And it was, uh, it's been unique because it's a big time discipline to do what we're doing. You know, we know how to launch projects. And so the True Scriptures project is knocking. So uh, it's happening. I've had to put tons of my focus into the review because, you know, this is the finished product that's going out to the world. This is like, what is this? It's like legendary stuff. This is stuff that's eternal. Net, hey, this is going down in the eternity record books. And so when we talk about this subject today of the realist Matit Yahoo, chapter three, man, because I'm like, Yahoo, I feel like I need to go live today. I can feel you tapping on me. I wanted to go live after I was done reviewing, but he said, no, go. So I'm down to one book, Matati Yahoo, Matthew. Come on, Daniel Bacote, let's get it going. King to business. Let's get it going. So I'm down to one book to review. I finished my Hashim early. No, I finished my, my Hashim about one o'clock today. So it's extensive. Man, oh man, this ain't no joke, fam. This is extensive, especially when you're paying attention. Now we got our team in the background. Also, Miss Melanie Summers, who volunteered with her 40 years of plus education, professional English person, connoisseur, Sherry Harrod, works at, she's works at some of the highest level levels in the government, the state of Kentucky. Most people don't know that. She's worked in the government, had to be very detailed with what she does. Uh, her, Melanie, and some of the other crew that you don't know are reviewing all the work as far as the layout. So someone should say the, 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 the words. They're just screening those words. Then within the next day or two, we're going to take that. And it's going to go to our professional reviewer, who that's what they do. And then it goes over to the typesetter. From the typesetter, it'll take them about a week to get a typeset. From the typeset, it goes to the printer. From the printer, it goes to all the package supporters. So if you see that link right there, tsnt.org, if you are a package supporter, if you're at least a bronze package member or higher, you're going to be the first. There's, got, there's not going to be any access to the true scriptures, the Barit Hadash New Testament version for anybody in the world Except first, except all of the bronze package members and hires, the bronze, silvers, golds, platinums, and diamonds. So every one of them are going to get the scripture said to them first. Thank you, brother. Joe in the building that show back up. I see y'all working, man. Kingdom business. So then once we're shipping it out to the package holders, they'll receive special access to be able to order. So they're going to get the true scriptures. The package supporters will get the true scriptures. And the stamp has already been ordered going to the printing house. We've already hired the people that will be doing the stamping of each book. So individually, it will be getting professionally stamped with the promote the true stamp in the book. There won't be any other books that have the stamp in it. It's on. We'll get you, Larry. You know the team will watch it coming in. So there's not going to be any others that have this stamp in it. None. So got your stamp in there, and that's going out to everybody that's a bronze package member. And hi, you want to know how to be a bronze package member if you're brand new? Go to tsnt.org, and then you can contribute. You can do it at once, or you can work your way up. We've got to the 31st for this cutoff. So we're less than a week away from this cutoff there on the TSNT.org. The operation spread two is happening right now. We're going to cut that off on, for a fact, it's going to cut off on the 31st of May. So come on, Brother Rich. I see you. Come on, Brother Rich. 
Appreciate that. Coming in with them pounds, British pounds in the building. So then we're going to give all the people that are package holders, they're going to get special access to order as many of the true scriptures as they want. That are the regular true scriptures that the world will receive. They get first access to be able to order the true scriptures in bulk, whatever they want to do, and it will be at its deepest discounted price that it will ever be at. Come on, Sister Rush in the building. We're in the building. Sister Ming Lee. Rush says, send a shout out to Ming Lee. Where's Ming Lee at, Rush? Come on. Come on, Annette Green in the building. I see my suit. See, we got some, we got some Yahoo ballers in here. Right now, they're ready to go. They know the they know if I haven't been on here. Hopefully, we've developed a good enough relationship with our YouTube channel, our Facebook crew that love Yahoo, that y'all know that if y'all don't hear from me for several days, that I'm in the trenches. And that means at the end of it, I've just passed out to ask Lena, ask Kai. Come on, me. I, hey, I'm done. Lena and Kai will tell you. They get me out of the chair sometimes. Lena put my pajamas on and they just and they get me over in the bed. Because my brain is done. And I gave Yahoo all I got for that day. I done maximize every moment of that day. Are y'all in? Y'all feel the same? Y'all love Yahuwah. Sometime or another, you're going to come to the place where you either love Yahuwah, like I'm talking about, or he going to spit you out. You can't just kind of kind of love Yahuwah. Can't do it. Ain't going to work. You're wasting time. Like, I don't know if you're trying to pad your conscience being lukewarm with Yahuwah. But he's going to spit you out. You're going to mess around. If you're lukewarm, you're going to have a regret at the end of your life. You're going to say, it ain't going to be about Yahuwah because you didn't do what it takes. Come on, Amber. I see you. Here come the crew up in here. I see y'all. It ain't going to be about Yahuwah because you know you didn't do what it takes to be with Yahuwah. So you know you're going to look back and go, why didn't I party like, like a rock star? Like a rap star when I was on earth. Why not just get buck wild? You're going to regret not doing that because imagine not getting into the kingdom, but then living your life stressed out, anxiety, high blood pressure, what the people in the South said, got the sugar, diabetes. Imagine being just all full of disease and stress and worry and broke, in debt, can't, can't breathe. And then you go on the lake of fire. You, you should have cut a deal with Satan and, and enjoyed as much as you could on this earth being buck while he'll give you all of that. I keep telling people that. Nobody's really preaching that. I preach it. I preach it. I preach it. Don't be hot or cold. I follow my father. He says you got to be hot or cold. He got more respect. Most people have no idea. Yahuwah got more respect for the devil worshipers than he does for the Christians and the organized religion. Did y'all ever come, did that ever come to y'all's mind? Like the people who's faking with him, he hates those people more. He says, man, it'd be, it's best that you are hot or cold. Why would he say it better? Come on, Ebony. Let's get it going, sis. Ebony and Joe coming in rocking tonight with them supers. What are we playing for? Like, literally, I just tell them straight up, I don't study this too much. I tell people, man, don't play around and act like you like the truth. Like, I'm telling you, I know what this world will offer you. You can have some fun in this world. Either way, you rocking with Yahuwah, that's what most people miss. When you rock with Yahuwah, you have a blast. It ain't what you think. It ain't this stuffy, oh, we got to go, oh, type of stuff. Yahuwah don't rock like that. Why do you think them beats, 
be dropping and people be bopping their head and making move. That's that spirit of Yahuwah wanting them to come to him and Satan playing at the same time trying to snatch him to him. Yahuwah want to rock with you. I'm telling you, he wants to jam with you. He wants to see the best things in the world with you. He wants to experience the best food, the greatest foods through you. That's why he created you and I. Yahuwah wants to, Rahua is off the charts. You don't understand my daddy. I know my daddy. See, do we? David, he understood his daddy. That's why Yahuwah said, Deweed is a man after his own heart. And Deweed at one time was buck wild. Y'all, y'all, listen. Who y'all think Yahuwah is, is not. You got to get to know him. And Yahuwah Mashiach, who he sent. Come on, Emily. You got to get to know him. Y'all, y'all would have every one of every one of the organized religious people, all those holier than thou people acting, that pagan word holy, all them people, they would have scoffed at Nua. They would have scoffed at Noah. His real name is Nah. They would have scoffed at him. They would have been like. Psst. You can't find nobody righteous but him. Come on, y'all. Give me a break. Nah, you to get his drink on. Put it that way. Y'all want to see Naha over there sipping on some yak. What them young people say? Sipping on some yak. What's that? Cognac. Y'all want to see them over there sipping on the, the vino, the vine, the wine. That's what you would have seen Naha doing. And you would have looked at him and went, ah, <laughs> he ain't no way he going in. He was the only one. You want to know why? Yahuwah don't care if you have a great time. He don't care if you get your little drink. Yahuwah looking at your heart going, do you love me? And are you going to guard these 10 commandments? See, that's what everybody's missing about Naha. He didn't break them commandments. He had no other Allahim before Yahuwah. None. He had no graven images. He absolutely upheld his name and didn't bring his name to naught. He guarded the Shabbat day. If Yahuwah had an instituted day. He honored his mother and father. Guess what? Yahuwah was looking at him. Before he put the commandments out, he's looking at him going, look, this man here. He honors his mother and father. He ain't committing murder. He ain't committing adultery. He ain't stealing people's stuff. He ain't bearing false witness. He ain't coveting other people's stuff. He know I'll get it for him. Yeah. Yahuwah said, that's the righteous I'm looking for. Can you do that thing? Stop with all the external stuff. Can you do that thing? Can you guard just them 10 simple assignments? What's the assignment? It's 10 of them. Hey, Kai, or Lena, somebody bring my Yahuwah necklace. It's right here. I'm in here getting get tore. I'm on. When I strap this Yahuwah necklace on, I'm going in. Kai. Man, y'all better put your seatbelts on. I'm about to get up. They over in the other room doing schoolwork. I'm like, hold on. Stay right there. Come on, Michelle. Now, you know it's on. I done put my necklace on. I done got strapped up. Come on, Yahoo. Let's go. Come on, Yahoo. Let's go. Father, are you ready to go? Shall we go up? Come on, Yahoo. Speak to the people. We close to releasing your project that you called us to do. This is a gathering. We're coming to see if we're going to touch and agree on this message. I just reviewed this. Yes, I did. 
Kind of gives you where I'm at. All the books have been reviewed in the Beret Hadash New Testament from the true scriptures, except Matati Yahu. And I'm through verse, I'm through chapter three on this one. I got 25 more to go, and then it's going to the next level. Put your seatbelts on. Come on, Nirop. Come on, Marquise. Come on, Yamati. Come on, Jamie. Let's go. Rush, let's get it. Elmer, Catherine, Amber, Jamie, let's get it. The realest, I got it, I got it. Cat was doing the schoolwork. He came in here running, trying to find my nails. The realest Matati Yahoo. Matthew, what's his name mean? The gift is Yahuwah. Yahoo's about to give y'all a gift tonight. He gonna give y'all a gift. Come on, Emily. I see you coming back. He gonna give y'all a gift. He gave me a gift when I reviewed this and got this tight. This is tight now. And in those days, Yahuwah and the Immerser appeared preaching in the desert of Yahoo, Judea. Ashley, you ready for this for real? Frank, you ready? Are you ready, ready, Jermaine? He's out there in Yahoo in the desert preaching. Yahuwah the Immersive, John the Baptist. Come on, Catherine. He was saying, repent. Because the kingdom of heaven has come near to us. Man, everybody should be yelling out, repent. Come on, Isaac. Your Shaq. Deontay. Daniel Bacote. We should all be yelling, repent. For the kingdom of Yahuwah is near to us. It's closing in. Can't y'all feel it? I got chills on my arm. I feel it coming. I feel it. This is the man that was spoken of through the prophet Yeshia Yahu, Isaiah. Which means salvation is Yahuwah. When he said, a voice of one crying in the, the desert wilderness. Woo! Saying, per, this is what trips me out. Who's got this one right? I'm going to look in there before I say it. I'm going to check one thing. Because, man, people missing this. This got so much fire in it. This got so much fire in it. This, hey. A voice of one crying in the wilderness saying, prepare the way for Yahuwah and make his path straight. Do y'all know in that translation, it says you, hey, ooh, hey, come on, Lisa. Now, wait a minute. Sharon said, does he care if you smoke cigars or vape? <laughs> I wouldn't do it. It's tough on your lungs, sis. I'd leave it alone. <laughs> Prepare the way for who? Prepare the way for Yahuwah. Now, wait a minute. Come on, sister Ned. I see you. If Yahuwah is not Yahuwah, what's Yahuwah and the Immerser doing? Preparing the way for him. You ever stop thinking about that? Have you ever stopped, Sister Cheryl, Sister Ebony? Have you ever stopped to go, hey, Yeshi Yahoo said, a voice of one crying in the wilderness saying, prepare the way. It is direct for Yahuwah. It didn't say prepare the way for the master. It didn't say prepare the way for the Lord. It didn't say prepare the way for Yahusha. It said prepare the way for Yahuwah. And make his path straight. <laughs> what y'all gonna do with that? I don't know what you're gonna do with it. Come on, Juanita. That's right, Russ. Damn the Lord. We don't care nothing about no Lord. No God. No, Jesus, we got to get this name straight. Y'all missed that part. It said, make his path straight. What y'all think 
think we doing in Promote the Truth? Y'all ain't, y'all haven't got the, come on, Jermaine. Thank you, brother. Y'all haven't got the assignment yet. Y'all been on here with me this whole time and you haven't figured out yet that we have been called under the second push of Yahuwah and the Immersive. Haven't you figured it out? Y'all ain't figured it out yet? Because I figured it out a long time ago. Woo! Tell them, Sharon. Sharon said, I'm so glad. I'm going to put that up, Sharon. That's too good. Look what Sister Sharon Stone said. She said, I'm so glad this chat. I'm so glad this channel and the truth teaching. Not many are teaching or preaching the truth according to Yahuwah. Tell them, sir. Y'all see that? Now, wait a minute. What is our assignment? That's the real name of the, of the teaching tonight. What is our assignment? Why are you listening to me? Daniel giving out. Memberships to get y'all to pay attention. Appreciate that, Brother Daniel. Why are we talking to each other? Why would you put this time in? Come on, Sister Rush. We going in. Y'all got to listen. Listen. He said, this is the man that was spoken of through the prophet Yeshayahu when it's when he said, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. What am I doing? I'm out here crying in the wilderness. Come on, Byron. Blake, we are here crying in the wilderness of this world. What are we doing, fam? We see this world going to nothing. We see it almost on fire. We see it. But what are we going to do? We going to try to huddle up? I see some of y'all, man, I'm telling y'all. Y'all got to pay attention to this. This was brought to my attention. Some of y'all on social media, and you just want to huddle up. And you want to hang out together as followers of Yahuwah. And you want to say, hey, I don't want to go to work and be around those people to pay. I don't want to go to. Listen. Have you missed an assignment? Yahushua, when he was here as Yahushua, who is now Yahuwah Mashiach, he says, I did not come to save the righteous. I came to save the lost. Our assignment is to save the lost. I'm around pagans everywhere all the time, all the time. None of them faze me. You want to know why? I know my assignment. I'm not saying you're going to hang out with somebody that's blaspheming Yahuwah's name. I'm talking about where you going? Who are you talking to? How are they going to know unless somebody tell them? You can't be trying to go huddle up. You got to be going out under the protection of Yahuwah. And you got to preach the Bashura. That's the good news. Don't be trying to huddle up. I see some of y'all on social media. I don't know if I want to go. You better go in there and talk to these people until Yahuwah elevates you to get your own business. Then you can talk to even more people. I do it all the time. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, this message is for us. You mess around and think this message was about Yahuwah and the Immersor. Yahuwah and the Immersor was reaching forward, knew we were going to be here. He knew he was going to do his push, and he knew that another push was coming. This push ain't happened until now. This push has not happened till right now. Y'all know, and I know. How do I know? For real, for real. Go all the way back to 2007, when I found Yahuwah. Nobody, hardly, hardly anybody knew his name. It's the weirdest thing ever. You typed in Yahuwah's name in Google in May of 2007. 17 years ago is when I found Yahuwah. This month. Come on, Sister Rush. Nietzsche, what's that? Nietzsche? Come on, Nietzsche. That's coming from Nietzsche in the building doing some kingdom business. The, the children are raising up. 
Y'all understand what's happening? We raising up the children. Look, 17 years ago, you couldn't find Yahoo nowhere. On Google, on Excite, on MSN. Come on, Sister Queen in the building. You couldn't find them nowhere. Except in Yahoo. Isn't that weird? What's his name? Yahoo. And I can find him in Yahoo. Throw a little I on that, and he put his name on that one too. He said, I'm going to give you a little nugget. About two websites on Yahoo. And, and guess what? Three months later, I typed the Promote the Truth website out. It was old chintzy looking site then. Nothing like it looks now with the marketing team we got. Come on, Sessy from Fiji. Nothing like our team we got now. Yahoo went through my fingers. The Yahoo Rua was working through my fingers for real. It's the queen giving out some memberships. I started typing and I couldn't even, I don't even remember what, what mode I was in. I just typed for several days and then hit publish. And 90, I should say probably 85, 80 to 85% of what you see on the website now is what I typed 17 years ago through the set apart spirit. So I know what Masha was going through when he was typing the first five books. I understand it. when the spirit of Yahuwah is talking to you, he'll give you what to say. And I know it's true. That's why y'all are here. And that's a fact. You know how many people, hey, go ahead, like for real. Y'all know how many people know Yahuwah's name because I decided to type 17 years ago? Most people are going, to ah, no, for real, for real. And we did search engine optimization. We started getting that message out there. And the next thing you know, year after year, all of a sudden, within a year or two, it popped up on Google. And then it was 20 sites. And then it was 100 sites. And then it was 1,000 sites. Now it's thousands of sites from zero. Because sometime or another, somebody's going to have to make the path straight. Somebody is going to have to prepare the way for Yahuwah. So tonight's message, today's message, depending on where you're at, is for you to prepare the way for Yahuwah. Did you know that's your assignment? Start pointing at Yahuwah to the immerser. He's in the grave. Can't say a thing. He did what he was supposed to do. Get the message to me and you. Now we got to do what we're supposed to do while we still got breath in these lungs. That's why you don't smoke. Whoever asked me that question might mess up your breath in your lungs where you can't talk enough. They got to go rip your black lungs out of you. You have been called to prepare the way for Yahuwah. He wants me to tell you that on this message. The way he spoke to Yahuwah and the Immerser is the exact way he's talking to you and I. The exact. There ain't no left, ain't no right. This is straight. So when it says, this is the man, put your name in there. Put your name in there. This is Randy. This is Suhei. This is Elmer. This is Joe. This is Lashaya. This is Juanita. This is Ebony. This is Sharon. That was spoken about. That's you now. This is Marquise. This is Deontay. Put your name in the chat. This is, put your name in the chat. That was spoken about through the prophet Yeshayahu. You think Yeshayahu 
was just talking to Yahuwah and your mercy? No. He was the spark. Once you get this, you're going to get this. This is Jay, who was spoken about. Come on, Sister Queen, you were spoken about. Y'all don't understand. Look at my dad says, bring that message for our assignment. My daddy will tell you, Yahuwah called me for this reason. My daddy will tell you, he raised me, he groomed me to be one of the best baseball players in the world. I was up there. I was pretty good, man. When I was on my game, it was on. Thank you, DJ Bo. It's all getting ready to come out. Go to TS. Let me put it up. DJ Bo just reminded me. You got to go to TSNT.org. You support now, you're going to get the first scriptures, and then you ain't have to worry about it. You'll see Revelation, Hazun, right in there. My dad will tell you, Yahuwah snatched me out of that life. He said, nope, I ain't going to let you have that life. I'm like, Father, but I, I'm good. At, I love this. I want this. No. I called you for something. You're going to choose it or you're going to reject it. I decided to choose it. When it push come to shove, my daddy will tell you, I could have went back. I could have went in that life. Many times, when push come to shove, I chose Yahuwah. Come on, Shannon. Shannon's on fire. You feel it, Shannon? Sister Shannon, you feel it? You feel like you are preparing the way for Yahuwah? This is a great message. We should all be tore up right now. Man, I'm about to cry. I'm holding tears back right now. They sitting right there on the tip of my, you know, when they get them tears, get to the top of your eye, eyeball, they sitting right there. I'm pushing them back. That's a fact, man. I, 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 if I think about it, this is the man that was spoken up through the prophet Yeshiahu when he said, a voice of one crying in the wilderness. What's this world today? It's a wilderness. Daniel Bacote said, let's prepare the way. <laughs> Y'all going in. Y'all going in on this one. Super fly. Yeah, kingdom business, Daniel. Y'all talking. Y'all know the spirit is working all through us right now. Let it have its way. Let's let Yahuwah Ruah really have his way. Let's let him have some breakthroughs. That right, Sister Donna. Yeah, think about this. We're the voice now. Y'all know what Yahoo Hunter and the Mercer did? He was the, doing the relay race. He was running as hard as he could, hand it off. He handed it off. The emissaries, the apostles, they took it, they handed it off to some people. They was running and running laps around the track and was winning. And then all of a sudden, they lost that fight. You want to know what happened? Somebody, somebody lost that joy. I'm going to tell you what happened. They tricked some people. They got them to be passive. They got them, they got somebody to mess with the word. Speak to me, Ruah. What happened was somebody messed with the word. As it started getting passed down, somebody tweaked the word a little bit over here. And somebody tweaked it over here. And then somebody said, hey, if they hit you on this cheek, turn the other cheek and let them hit you. And go ahead and let them lay down. Who would want that in the scriptures? What about the dictators? The Satan worshipers that got in the government. You think that they would want you? Go and turn the other cheek. Go and lay down. Yeah, they want you to do that. That ain't what Yahuwah, Mashiach, was teaching. They said, Master, there's two swords right here. He said, that'll be enough. How come they don't preach that part about them two swords? How come they don't preach that part? When Yahuwah and Yah Yahakab 
when they went there, when he said, go prepare the way for me, I'm going into Jerusalem, going up there to that city, prepare the way for me. And that city heard that he was going to Jerusalem. And that city said, no, because he's going to Jerusalem, he can't come here. And Yahuwah and Yahweh said, Master, do you want us to call fire down from heaven and burn that place up? They ain't teaching that part. Won't they teach that part? The fire of Yahuwah, the backbone, the warriors. What do you think Dewey was doing? What do you think Yahushua, sign named Joshua, was doing? You think they was tiptoeing around? Going crawling up in the corner, letting people trample over them? No. Yahushua, Joshua said, Yahuwah, let me at them. I'll eat them up like a sandwich. They're bread for us. That time is returned, family. No more weak. Be meek, humble, but no more weak. Weak is out the door. You come talking to people of Yahuwah, the real ones. You come up on the promote the truth platform. We proved it the other day. Somebody came in talking about God, talking about church. Hey, you, hey. We cool. We love you. You come in here talking nonsense? No problem. Somebody escort him out of here. Delete. You want to know why? Because this is going down for real. Now I'm going to go on and preach the rest of this. This is the man that was spoken of through the prophet Yeshiyahu. When he said a voice of one crying in the wilderness saying, prepare the way for Yahuwah and make his path straight. Come on, Larry Mo. You and I are supposed to prepare the pathway now for Yahuwah. Have I made that clear? There ain't no left and no right about this. There's not, your, hey, don't look at your brother or your sister to do it. Yahuwah is calling you to do it. He's calling me to do it. This is a personal issue that's happening through this message. You are supposed to prepare the way for Yahuwah. And you're supposed to make it straight. And you can't make it straight with 15, 16, 17, 18, 25 different names. There ain't no other name besides Yahuwah. It said make the prepare the way for Yahuwah. It didn't say prepare the way for Yahusha. That's another name for, for a certain assignment of Yahuwah. It had a particular purpose, the name of Yahusha. That's a precious name, but it's also a common name. And it's a sentence of a name. That name says Yahuwah is salvation. Yah, who, Yahoo, Yahoo, Sha, Yahoo, who is Yahoo, Yahuwah, what is Sha, salvation, Yahuwah is salvation, prepare the way for Yahuwah, the Savior, the Mashiach, are you on it, you gonna accept your assignment, I'm on it, now Yahuwah, his clothes were made out of camel's hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. He ate locust. Something in my eye. He ate locust and wild honey for food. That means he wasn't trying to impress nobody. That's what that means. Some of y'all trying to be too cute. Some of y'all trying to go at the person. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of letting them know a little bit. And I'm kind of working on them. I'm working, you know, I'm working on my mom a little bit. I'm working on my brother. I'm working on him. Show me that in the scriptures. I'm working on him. Ain't no working on him in the scriptures. No, you got to put your camel's hair on. You need to put your spiritual, listen to me. I'll see some of y'all walking down the street tomorrow with some for real, for real. If you want to do it, do it. But I'm talking about that spiritual camel's hair. Man, you, been, you need to be eating some spiritual locusts. If you want to eat some real ones, eat them. They're clean. Hallelujah. 
get you some wild honey. That means you're going to have to get a little wild on this thing. You have to get a little wild when it comes to Yahuwah. People from Jerusalem, throughout Yahoo, Jerusalem is Jerusalem. Yahud is Judea. People throughout from Jerusalem throughout Yahud and all the regions around the Yeradon, Jordan River, came to see him. What did people do in coming to see him? Have you ever stopped and thought about what was making people come from everywhere to see this man? What would make why y'all think he why y'all think people was coming from everywhere? Let me tell you why. You don't have to advertise a fire. You don't have to advertise a fire. You got to just catch on fire and people going to come and watch you burn. Yeah, he was on fire. That's what he was. So they're coming from everywhere. As they confess their sins, you're going to find out when you get on fire, you're going to have people right in front of your eyes. They're going to confess their sins. They're going to repent. When your message is on point, you're going to have some people repenting in front of your face. Come on, Emily. How many times have you had somebody repent in front of you? When's the last time it happened or if it ever happened? How many times you think it should happen if you was really on fire, fire? How many times you think it should happen? See, you're going to tell a tree by the fruit it bears. You're going to find out what tree is what. If you're not bearing fruit, wait, you're going to get a message. Stay right there. Don't move. I'm going to make it clear for you tonight. Simple and plain. They were confessing their sins. He, as he, and he immersed them in the Yeridan Jordan River. But when he saw the Parashim and the Sadakim, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, the Parashim and the Sadakim is the real name. When he saw the Parashim, Pharisees and the Sadakim coming to be immersed by him, he said to them, you children of viper snakes, who warned you to flee from the wrath that's coming? And that's what's going down right now. Once your message is tight and you are not a jerk. See, some people run out here and go, I'm on fire. I'm going to piss everybody off. I ain't tell you to do that. I told you be on fire. Be on point. But don't be arrogant. Be relatable. And then you'll see the snakes. And then when you see the snakes, you brew of viper snakes. Who warns you from the wrath that's coming? And I'll tell somebody that in a minute if I think they're a snake. But see, these are blatant snakes. Most people ain't blatant snakes, so I ain't calling most people out like that. But boy, guess who he would have said this to today? Boy, he would have talked. These are your Christians. These are your organized religion. These are those who say they are Yahudim, but are not over there posing right now. Yeah, these are all these other False religions. How can you have 150 million denominations? That's who he's talking to. These are these buildings you see on every corner. If Yahoo Highland and Mercer was back now, he'd do what I'm doing now. I, hey, they don't come around me. I say, you brutus, viper snakes. That's right, the popes, the pastors, the rabbis. Y'all, brood of vipers. Who warned you to flee? From the wrath that's coming. Produce fruit. That proves you have repented. And changed your hearts. He said. And do not think you can say to yourselves. Abraham is our father. I tell you that Alua Is able to raise children. From Abraham. 
out of these rocks, these stones. Don't be pouring around thinking somebody else is going to take care of you. Yahuwah going to get the right ones even if he got to get it from the stones. The axe. This is for everybody that don't get the assignment. Pay close attention to what he's about to say. CJ, you ready? Watch. Produce fruit that proves you have repented and changed your heart. Now watch. Verse 10. The axe is already at the root of the trees. Plural. Trees. And every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and tossed into the fire. When's the last time you had somebody repent in front of you? When are you going to produce that kind of fruit? Watch CJ. When they gonna produce this kind of fruit? Are you, you gotta ask yourself, do some self-examination during this message and go, am I producing fruit that's proving that I have repented? Because see, if you knew you was going in a lake of fire and somebody saved you, you'd be telling everybody. See, you notice there was one thing in common. Everyone that Yahusha healed when he was here, they went out and told everybody. Everybody that he set free, cast a demon out of, they wouldn't told everybody. He said, shh, don't tell nobody. They couldn't help me. They're going to tell everybody. What y'all going to do? Are y'all going to be in the secret service? Are y'all in the CIA of Yahuwah? You got the great word and you don't tell nobody? What you going to do? Because I'm telling you, the axe is at the root of the, of the trees. Guess who he's talking to? Us. He's saying if we don't produce fruit that proves that Yahuwah saved us, then we're going to be cut down and thrown into the fire. Sister Emily said everybody hit the like button. Let me do a check on the like buttons. Are y'all hitting the like are y'all hitting the share button? Let's see. Let's see our likes. What are we doing? Y'all, y'all good, but we gotta be great because good is the enemy of great. You just can't be good with Yahuwah. You gotta be great. Everybody hit the like button. Thank you, Sister Emily, for reminding us. Now this message is is, is blazing, but it ain't even got hot yet. <laughs> How can you have something so hot? Something blazing ain't completely hot. Get ready. This is it. I immerse you with water for the forgiveness of your sins. But he that is coming after me is greater than I am. And I am not worthy to even carry his sandals. He will immerse you in the set apart spirit and with fire. Man, that's what I'm looking for on this earth. Man, that's what I'm looking for on this earth. I'm looking for fire. Are you on fire? Put some fire emojis in the chat. If you on fire for Yahuwah, put some fire emojis in the chat. If you on fire for Yahuwah, he said he going to immerse you with that fire where you can't like, it will not stop from coming out of your mouth. You're going to tell everybody. Man, I seen a woman today. I went to the store. I walked out the store, a woman selling trash bags. You talking about hustling? My daddy remembers this when he was in Columbia. People hustling. She walked out the store. I walked out the store. She said, sir, can you buy these trash bags in Spanish? I said, hold on one second, hold on. I was doing, I had to pay for parking and whatnot. I came back. I said, look, here, gave her something. It was worth about $2, something like that. 
She gave me a stack of these trash bags. She was trying to give me more. I said, no, no. I just want a few. Keep it for somebody else so that you can go ahead and continue. I said, but what I want to give you is more than I gave you in Spanish. I reached down and I gave her a brochure. And I told her to look up and seek Yahuwah. And that's the most important thing she could have got today. She was tall. You know, y'all, y'all, we can't miss no chances. We can't miss these chances. We got to be on fire for Yahuwah. He gonna, if he's in you, you will know it. Because you're going to be on fire. You ain't going to be, hey, you're going to be learning as much as you can learn. You, you're doing everything you can not to miss no lives. If you miss a live, you're watching a recording. You got a notepad. You should already have two or three notepads filled up with notes. Yahoo, I'm on fire. I'm becoming a disciple. I want to know all of you. Blessed is the one that is found doing his work when he returns and is looking out for him. Are y'all looking out for Yahuwah? He could come back right now. If he came back right now, I'm straight. Are you? He said, I'm immersing you with water. That's why so many people get caught up on getting in the water. I'm like, go do the water. It's not necessary for your salvation, but you should do it because he did it as an example. The most important thing is are you going to get immersed into his name? You see, it ain't going to be no water hit you in his name. It's going to be fire hit you with his name. I didn't say nothing plural about that. The name, Hashan. It's going to be the name, Yahuwah. Y'all don't, don't hear me preaching no other name but Yahuwah. Nobody comes to promote the truth and gets confused about what name should I pray in? How should I end my prayers? Nobody. People say, Jay, how do you end your prayers? Do you end it with amen or not? No, I don't particularly. Why? Because it's pagan or because it's not pagan? It's close to pagan. But it's not pagan. Depends on how you say it and how you spell it. We ain't talking about Amen Ra. Now we're talking about pagan. Amen. We're, we're okay. So rather than me walk that, walk that line, I end all my prayers with Alleluia. <laughs> you want to know why? Because I'm immersed into his name. Watch. Go look at every video that you can find of me and watch me pray. Watch how I get through praying. You'll never hear me say nothing but hallelujah. That's it. Ask my son how he ends his prayers. I'll, I'll get ready to eat my food. Thank you, Father, for this food I'm about to receive. Let it be nourishment to my body. No, hold on. Playing with my family there. I'm by myself. Thank you, Father, for this food I'm about to receive. Let it be nourishment for our bodies. Bless the hands that prepared it. Thank you for everything you do for us, Yahuwah. And then I might have two or three things going on that I need to address right there while I'm praying. Thank you for a wonderful day. We say all these things. And we praise you. And we thank you. Hallelujah. I'm out. Power. How you going to go wrong ending a prayer with hallelujah? 20, hey, I don't know how many, how many thousands of languages. I know there's at least 3,000 or more. Man, there's, there's thousands of languages in the world. Thousands. Thousands. And there's only one word in the entire world that's pronounced the same in all languages. Come on, DJ Bo. There's only one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is the only word. Virtually pronounced the same in all languages. You want to know why? Yahuwah said, 
if you don't praise me, I'm going to make these rocks praise me. Eric, 7,151 languages in the world. They all say hallelujah the same. Hallelujah. They might put a little huh, on the front. It's still hallelujah. And, and guess how many people know why they're saying it? They don't know. They have no idea. I know. Yahuwah spoke to me clearly and said, I'm going to make everybody in this world worship me, whether they want to or not. They're going to say hallelujah sometime or another. I'm going to make them in pagan churches worship me. They're going to be screaming hallelujah. And they're going to think they're doing a good thing. And they are. They're giving me praise. But they can't touch me because they don't love me. But I'm making them praise me. Hallelujah is the rocks crying out. Yahuwah get everybody on lock with hallelujah. It's like it's the the for having one word being pronounced the same in all languages is the equivalent of raising somebody from the dead. That's how strong that is. <laughs> he making them. Thank you, Yahuwah, for everything you do. Thank you for this fantastic day. Thank you for all my brothers and sisters here. Let them have favor in you, Yahuwah. Give it to them. Double proportion. All the things they've been through, Yahuwah. So I stretch out my hand and I pray favor over them, Yahuwah. In your name, we praise you. Hallelujah. Got them. Bam. That's how you end the prayer and you can't go wrong with that. Thought I'd mix that in. His winning wing fork is in his hand. And he will thoroughly cleanse his threshing floor. And he will gather his wheat into the barn. But the chaff, he will burn up with an unquenchable fire. You don't want to be the chaff. He's gathering, y'all. Then Yahushua came from Galil to the Yerodim River in order to be immersed by Yahuwah. But Yahuwah tried to stop him, saying, I need to be immersed by you. Yet you're coming to me. But Yahushua said to him, allow me to be immersed by you now. This is necessary to fulfill all righteousness. So Yahuwah agreed to immerse Yahushua. And when Yahushua was immersed, he immediately came straight up out of the water. Then the heavens opened up to him. And he saw the spirit of Alua coming down like a dove and it rested on him. A voice from heaven then said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. If you do, if you do your assignment, you're going to hear, this is my beloved Debbie. In whom I'm well pleased. This is my beloved Daniel Bacota in whom I'm well pleased. Don't you want to hear Yahuwah say, well done, my good and faithful servant in whom I'm well pleased. Don't you want to hear that? That should be your number one goal. Out of all the goals you make, you should want to hear Yahuwah say, well done, my good and faithful servant. When you go walk up to him, you got, I got to hear him say it. My life is screaming that I got to hear him say it. I done turned away as much as you could imagine. You want to know why? Because the number one goal was not to steal the most bases, was not to have, to have the highest batting average, was not to go acting and playing the biggest Hollywood movies, was not to make gazillions of dollars. That would be great. But my number one goal is I got to hear well done, my good and faithful servant, James. James Dwight Nolan Jr., you've been faithful over a few things. You was I put you on earth, and you were faithful over your assignment. You found me. Yeah, you found me. You was digging for me. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Oh, that 
try to put you and surround you with paganism. They threw you in these churches with steeples on them, paganism all around you. They drug, they drug Christmas trees in the house. Your mama and your daddy didn't know what was right. Your grandma and your granddaddy didn't know what was right. Your great mom, grandma and granddaddy didn't know what was right. Your great, 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 great didn't know what was right. But boy, you found me. Well done. You had to find one thing. One thing, boy, was my name. You found the one little thing that's the biggest thing. It's one word. You found me. And even though I let the test come at you from every angle possible. I put you in the same path with my servant, you, Job. I let him come against you that way on earth. But when you found me, you held on and you would not deny my name. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Come on up. I'm going to hear come on up. Are y'all going to hear come on up? We ain't going to be shall we go up. We coming up and going to stay up. Some of y'all going to stay up with me. Some of y'all going to hear, well done. It ain't going to be a lot of you either. Don't let me get you so hyped you miss it. You're going to mess around and be in a feeling and you're going to miss it. You're going to mess around being a feeling. This ain't about a feeling. This is about work. You got to put that work in for Yahoo every day. Now you done found his name. You done done the one thing. He going to give you credit for that. He going to love on you for that. He going to say you got it. Now you got to seal it. Soon as you catch his name, you grab it. Everybody else, they lost. They ain't got the one thing. It's a little thing, ain't it? It's a name. Come on, Daniel. I see you, brother. Hey, everybody think it's a little thing. And it is. Because it's one word. But it happens to be the key of knowledge. It happens to be the key to eternal life. It happens to be the key between life and death. That one word. Though you have a little strength, Hazun chapter 3, verse 8, Revelation 3, 8. Yet you have not denied my name. Some of y'all been beat down. Some of y'all been abused. Some of y'all been through hell and back. I know because I have too. That ain't phasing me a bit. Not in this state. And I'm a miracle. What about you? I shouldn't be here. What about you? Huh? I shouldn't be here. Satan tried to kill me all kind of times. I've been in car wreck. Right? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? What's that? Y'all see that scar on my face? Y'all don't ever see when I turn like that? He tried to kill me when I was seven. Drunk driver. Boots. Going across Main Street. My mom took me to my grandparents' house before she went to work. Drunk driver on Main Street. I think it was like six, like 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. Full speed. Bam. Hit the side of the window. The, guy, the glass smashed. Cut my face wide open. My mom came over and reached to touch me, and her finger went through here. It was inside my mouth. I could, she touched my tongue. Satan tried to kill me at seven. Then he tried to kill me at eight. My dad could tell you some stories about him and my mom. They were crazy. Nuts. I've been in some of the craziest wrecks you could imagine. Walk out, a few scratches. Nothing can touch me without Yahuwah's permission.
Put it in the chat and we're done. Put nothing can touch me without Yahuwah's permission. Just put it in the chat. Y'all accept that? Say nothing can touch me without Yahuwah's permission. You might bang me up a little bit, but you can't take me out unless Yahuwah says so. Come on, Deontay. Ain't nothing can touch me without Yahuwah's permission. Nothing. I'm convinced. He won't let it happen. I I'm 56 years on this earth. Satan done tried to kill me too many times. Hardcore try to kill me. My dad, my dad, they, hey, he will tell you. I was in his truck hydroplane on an old country highway. The truck flipped three times, flew in the woods. I had no seatbelt on. My body going out the window. I'm holding on to the steering wheel as I'm going to fly it out the window. The truck's about to smash on me. I said to myself, it's not my time to die yet. I had some type of weird supernatural strength to pull myself back in the truck before it landed on me, and then my butt hit the ground. My side hit the ground. The sheriff pulled up. Some woman pulled, because the truck was wedged up against a tree, had about that much space. Some woman come down there screaming, thinking the truck was going to blow up. She pulled me out of there. And she said, be still, because you probably got broke boss. And I feel all right. She put me in her car. She drove me all the way up to a Wind Dixie. Y'all know that's country. Set me on the bench. No cell phones back then. It's 1993. She called 911. They show up. They freaked out, put me on the stretcher, strapped me down, said, you got to have broken bones. First, they said, we're looking for the body down in the woods. Nobody can survive that wreck. The woman said, this is him right here. This is impossible. I go in the hospital. They got me strapped down. They got me on all kinds of machines. I'm in there about 45 minutes, just sitting in this room, taped up, beep, beep, beep. That's my dad. He's at the hospital trying to get to see me. Y'all know what I did? I said, there's nothing really wrong with me. And I kept asking them people to help me. I pulled all them things off of me. All the straps. The machine went, they thought I was dying. dying. Everybody, all the doctors, doctors rushed in. I said, listen, y'all don't really care about me. I've been here 45 minutes. I got machines tapped up. I'm leaving. They made my dad sign a release paper. I said, dad, I only got a couple scratches on my hand. And that was it. You want to know why? Before I knew Yahuwah. He knew I was going to choose him. What y'all going to do with that? Put it in the chat. Nothing can touch me without Yahuwah's permission. As soon as you feel that way, now act that way. Talk that way. How that fire come out of you that way? That's why y'all see me come on here. I don't act like I'm trying to impress not one person. And boy, I get all kind of crazy messages of hate. Come on, Annette. I get some of the most hateful messages y'all could ever imagine. Why? Because I know who hates me. And who hates me can't touch me without Yahuwah's permission. I'm out. I'm hey. Y'all pray for your brother. I got to get this finished with my Tati Yahoo. I got to finish it. I got 25 chapters. Then we're getting that review done. If y'all love Yahuwah, come on. For real, for real. We do what we're supposed to do. And we're going to do better. And we're going to do more. And we're going to spread this word everywhere. And if you feel confident enough to say, look, this is some good ground. I'm going to sow into it. Just go contribute. Go to TSNT.org. Don't like give up. Be steady with your seed. I see like Marquis, Lene, right? Yamani. I see many people. They sow throughout the week. They don't let weeks go by. They say, Yahuwah, you gave me more seed. I'm sowing. I see my brother, uh, Brian Robertson. He said, look, Yahuwah gave me more seed to sow. Yahuwah's testing you to see if you're going to trust him. 
to expand you. There's no way. Yahuwah don't want you to be massive. But you got to let all these people around you and all these voices and all these naysayers, you got to let them be who they are. They're not Yahuwah. Eric, you got to look at them. Y'all not Yahuwah. Mama, daddy, I don't care what mama, daddy saying. I love you. I respect you. But you're not Yahuwah. Grandma, granddaddy, you are not Yahuwah. Cousins, aunts, uncles, friends, you're not Yahuwah. When I hold on to Yahuwah, I'm now dealing with unlimited. I can come out, I can be completely having nothing. Man, they took everything from me. Y'all don't have no idea. Millions over the years. They took it from me. They stole it from me, in my opinion. Yahuwah will not let me stay down. He won't do it. He said, no. I'm going to give you double, triple. Y'all ready? Quadruple. No. I'm going to give you a hundredfold in this lifetime as well as the life to come. If you roll with me like that, Yahuwah's telling us we got to love him like that, though. Y'all agree? Now, look, I went crazy passionate tonight because I ain't been with y'all for a while. Y'all, just embrace your brother here. I'm giving it every bit I got. Come on, daddy. My daddy even said it. Nothing can touch me without Yahuwah's permission. I'm giving it every ounce I got every day, I promise you, to get these words, to get the word, it's got to go out right. And it's going to turn this world upside down. TSNT.org, you put one penny in there and you're responsible for helping Usher Yahuwah back in here. You're, you're part of this making the pathway straight. This is who you are. TSNT is the direct path. You go to TSNT.org, I promise you, I know it is. Because we get more people to hear it. Some of y'all are hearing it because of other people. Like the Juanitas and the Blakes and the Daniels and the Jamies. Some of y'all new people, y'all got to send a shout out. Y'all see a bunch of people commenting a lot. Y'all got to show them some love. For real. The Ambers, the Ebony's, the Joes, the Jermaine's, the Annette's, the Cheryl's. Y'all got to show the Rushes, the Larry's. Uh, y'all got to show them the Elmer's, the Cream. Y'all got to show these people love. They've been here on the assignment from a long time ago. And they've been sowing into the kingdom. Y'all know who you are. Y'all been just faithful. And guess who's watching? The messengers. Randy Moon, Jermaine Ford. They know, hey, Sarah Hope. They are watching. And all the newer people coming in, you got to know these are people paving the way. You think you just found this accidentally? No, we've been advertising. We've been hitting the algorithms to get you to notice. You want to know why? You was going in the lake of fire without a sherry hair. You was going in without a queen. You know how consistent queen is without a Brandon, without a Hannah. You was going in that lake. It's these people. Suhei in the building. Emily Aguilar. Let hey. They will know me by the way we love one another. That's why some of y'all are here now, because of these people that love y'all. The Lesheha. Shannon's. I'm telling you, y'all know who you are. Juanita, don't they know? Juanita said, I've been in here. Marquise, don't they know? Lene? They got to know. The real ones are in here. Ashley, tell them, Jamie. I'm out of here, y'all. I love you with all I get. I'll be back as soon as I can. TSNT.org. True scriptures coming soon. Be ready. Hallelujah.